As we mentioned in, in one of those events, the first one, they had to have a cool off party. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. So it was a little toasty. Yeah, we still <laughs> need those kind of parties, Ryan, because it's going to stay uh, pretty warm out there. Yeah, I would say for at least the next two weeks, guys, we're right around average. But I think for the next few days, we're warming up and entering a slightly new weather pattern. Not much different from the last couple of days, probably right around 94 to 95 tomorrow and a little warmer by Tuesday and Wednesday. So more on that in a second. First and foremost, let's talk tropics on this Sunday night. It is still hurricane season now in the Gulf of Mexico. Nothing too impressive. However, you look farther east from South Carolina up into, let's say, Virginia. That's where there's a tropical depression. Now it's running out of room, but this is expected to be tropical storm Helena. Probably by tomorrow, bringing some good heavy rains into the Virginias, uh, the eastern coast and out farther east. Another tropical storm. This is Gordon. This looks like it'll bend to the north and not be a problem. No immediate threats to land with tropical storm Gordon. Now back here at home, it was hot. 95 the high here in San Antonio, 100 at Austin, 94 at Hallettsville, 89 at Del Rio. In our western counties from Valverde County all the way down to Webb County towards Laredo, there was a good amount of cloud cover and even some rainfall, which will show you the rainfall estimates in a second. Anywhere west of Bear County picked up on some decent rain earlier today and last night. 84 degrees on this late Sunday night. 73 at Rock Springs, 80 at George West, 79 at Victoria. Here are the rain estimates over the last 24 hours. Anywhere north of Austin saw some good rain, but it was mainly along the Rio Grande where you could see this heavy pocket from last night to this morning down I-35, Encinal, Contula. On average, a half an inch to an inch of rainfall, but there were a few pockets between Maverick County and Webb County towards Laredo that picked up on five inches of rain in the last 24 hours. Very isolated activity. Now here's the radar. A couple of storms east of Houston and more activity and more action south of Brownsville as a weak impulse uh, moves offshore. Meantime, tomorrow's forecast, it's going to be another toasty one. 96, mostly sunny, a couple of high level clouds around. But overall, very quiet. This is what happens when you have high pressure in the upper levels. It's right over Mexico. And what this will do in the next four to five days, go back and forth between here and Mexico. And you can see by Friday and Saturday, it's moving a little closer to this Lone Star State. And what that's going to mean, more heat above average warmth. Highs right, right around 94, 95, 96. And by the weekend time frame next weekend, I think we may see a couple of Showers creeping back in, but right now it doesn't look too impressive on the 14 day forecast right now. 20 to 30% at best by next weekend. So let's break it down tomorrow. 97 same thing on Tuesday. A few clouds overhead Monday, but a little bit more clock cover by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Look at those highs 94 95 and then even 97 tomorrow and Tuesday by Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures trend a little closer to average. Normal this time of year is about 89 to 90. But notice it is the first day of fall on Sunday. September 26 is the fall equinox. That'll bring in slightly cooler air. Obviously, you can see it's only in the 70s in the mornings and high still right around average 90 to 91. But at least a little bit more clock cover and some rain chances will hopefully bring some rain cooled air. And by the end of September, hopefully a cold front moves in our direction. We're crossing our fingers for that. But in the meantime, summer heat highs near 97 tomorrow and for Tuesday.